Okay, so in conclusion, we want to show just a couple more things. Uh, one is the viewer app and how we do some public sharing. Then we're going to also touch on the workbench app. So in the viewer app, this gives you uh, basically a read, it's a read-only viewer, lets you look at files in your project. Um, if, if you have access to the project, you can look at all files. But the real point of it is to allow people to look at your public folder and look at your public files that you're sharing that you want to um, give access to people that are not on the project. So it's kind of an easy way to publish stuff from your project for general uh, viewing. Um, what we want to do then is to put stuff into the public folder, first of all. Um, what I've done here is created a, uh, a notebook in this uh, direct in, in the project called Plot. Um, I'm going to just copy Plot, the Plot um, project, over to the public folder. And that's basically all that's required to publish it. Now if I um, go into the public folder, take a look, there's my file. I do need to change the permissions on it, however. I'm using sh change mod or shmod. I want to do um, uh, O plus R to give others write or, or read privileges, excuse me, give others read privileges to this file. So um, all I have to do is do a shmod on it. And now as, as long as all files in this directory have read access, they're basically open to public viewing. And now what I can do uh, from the viewer app, if I go back to the dashboard here, go to the viewer, um, go into the public folder, and I'll see those files there. And of course, because I'm a member of the project, I can view them. But the point of this is I can copy this URL and I can go to another browser now and pretend that I am a different user, not logged in, and use that URL now and get access to that project. Um, and I can view that content. So now I'm viewing, I have a read-only view of that, uh, of that notebook and I can, I can look at it. Um, so this is um, just a, a brief demonstration of how to share content. I can put any kind of file in here. This readme file, of course, just, just a little text file. It's not much there. But um, I can put all types of files here that I, that I might want to. Um, let's go back to the project. And uh, that's essentially um, the, the public folder, um, how that works. Um, You'll notice down below here it shows me the content, what's in my public folder. You can go look at that there. I'm also going to uh, just briefly cover the Workbench. Um, so now the Workbench app um, is kind of a composite app. It has uh, several things built together in here in one. And um, it's really kind of a, a, in a beta state at the moment. And we're working on it to, um, to add more functionality over time. But there are some things here that are, that are still useful. Um, by default, it comes up with this um, upload screen where you can drag and drop files in and upload them into your project. Um, and you can also download from your project from this uh, field down below. But you can also just download here, uh, download or upload anytime you want uh, with these controls. Um, on the left over here is a file browser. And what is loaded in the file browser by default is, your, is the project directory. So you can browse through the project directory. Also, your home directory. So your home directory follows you everywhere in Wakari. Um, all your projects that are on this node will have your home directory um, available to them. And also, if your home directory is, is mounted across all of your nodes, then of course, it'll show up on all your projects across all nodes. Um, another feature, of course, is the terminal is available inside of the workbench. You can launch a uh, terminal in here. Um, you can also use this directory feature to show additional directories or add directories that you may have access to on this box that you want to see in the browser here. So an example of this is, for example, let's say there's a, uh, a data directory on this uh, particular node that has data files in it that I want to see. I can add that here. And then now it shows up um, in the browser, and I can see there's uh, some CSV files there. And I could open those up in an editor if I want and, and look at them um, uh, and change them or do whatever I want with them. But now they're, they're available to me and they're, they're in my project and I can, um, I can access them. So that, uh, the show directory feature lets you, lets you um, add directories or, or remove directories from your project view on the side. And then there's editor, there's terminal, upload and download. Some, so some basic features here uh, built in to the um, to, uh, and of course, IPython Interactive from the terminal if you want to do that. So um, that's a quick uh, look at uh, Workbench. 
a uh, quick look at the viewer app and that pretty much covers um, our apps here in the projects and overview of Wakari today. I uh, hope this has been helpful. Um, I hope you'll continue to explore Wakari and uh, we're going to have some more videos out about exact use cases. That concludes this demo of Wakari Enterprise. For more information, check out our other videos and websites.